I love my cliches, and there's one of the most popular cliches that I've heard around, certainly applies a lot to golfers, those who fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So if you can't actually prepare correctly for a golf stroke, what chance have you really got in undertaking all the technical geometrical aspects that a golf shot requires? So let's go into some of the factors of setup that really must be looked at prior to even hitting the ball or worrying about having a golf swing. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little setup routine that might help you. What I like to do is, and, and this is certainly one that uh, was taught to me by my mentor and teacher, Ben Doyle from Carmel, California. What I like to do is take my left hand, or top hand, depending if you're right-handed, on the grip and, and, and make sure my club face and verify my club face, the bottom line of my club face is, uh, is square and vertical, okay? Now, you don't have to have a perfectly orthodox grip where the thumb points slightly to the right of center of the shaft and the wrist cocks vertically there. If you had a stronger grip, that's fine, so long as you understand where that club face and grip relationship are to each other. Then we like to take the right hand, place it on top of the club, also, also at eye level, checking my club face relationship, and getting a feeling of where my right arm might want to go when it shortens as it drops down for preparation into impact. At address, my right arm will be slightly higher. As I'm getting into impact, it'll be slightly lower as my right shoulder lowers and my hips clear. We'll talk about that in a moment. So I've got, I've got a feeling of where my right forearm is, where my left hand grip is, where my club face is. So I've got a lot of the geometry stuff out of the way first. Okay, keeping this grip that I've already taken still quite loose in my wrists. I will place my trailing foot or my right foot on a line here that is predominantly just behind the ball and I'll, I'll put my, I'll bend my knee and bend from my waist. Now notice my shoulders, and I'll draw a line here on the screen, are square to the target, but I haven't put my hips in yet. And I do this for a reason. I do this because I like to differentiate between my shoulder alignment and my feet and hip alignment. A lot of people tend to get too confused and almost blend them into one. So if I can get my shoulders set up first, I will then get my feet set up. So I've got this grip, I've got my right hand on, my left hand vertical to the club face, bent over, looking side on at 90 degrees down the line of my target, not like most golfers who sort of tend to look across their body. Then I place my left foot in the, in the correct spot that I want it to be to the ball. So for example, if I want to play the ball off my middle of my stance, I put my left foot slightly more forward. If I want to play the ball more to the front of my stance, I put my left foot slightly closer to the ball. Then for balance, depending on the width of my stance I require, I'll move my right foot wider if I want a more stable swing for more balance, or narrower if I want a bit more flexibility and mobility as I swing. Following this, I will produce, and you don't have to do this in your setup, but I'd just like to have our viewers out there understand the differences between a dress position or setup position and impact. I'll now produce the correct impact location and the differences. As I turn my left hip, left, my right shoulder goes down and my left shoulder goes up, my hands slightly lean forward, that's impact. I see a lot of people tending to not understand impact, they just push their hands forward and say that's impact. No, it's actually produced from my body, so as my body clears out of the way left, my right shoulder goes down, my right forearm now gets on a similar angle to that of the club shaft, and my left shoulder goes up. So. You can see my hips are quite a long ways open and my shoulders are a long ways open, my right shoulder's a long ways down, comparative to what they are at address where they're pretty much squared away there. Okay, so that's an important thing to understand. Now, you can incorporate this little forward press movement at the start. You might just want to do it as a practice drill, but I think it's certainly essential to understand the difference between setup and impact because we're ultimately going to produce a dynamic impact as we swing. Okay, now, what we would then do 
is we would return the hands back to what we would refer to as a mid-body location here. We certainly don't want our hands in front. I know a lot of people like to have their hands in front, but that will actually create a lot of problems with sequencing our backswing. So we'd like to have our hands level and at impact, they'll move slightly forward, but we certainly don't want to start with them forward because then we're going to have all kinds of problems with our direction as we go. Okay, so let me just put this into one. Left hand grip, checking the club face is vertical. Right hand and right forearm slightly lower than left, not too much, but preparing that they might go lower as I get into my impact. Right foot and right knee bend, bending from my waist. Shoulders lined up, looking down my target, side on, 90 degrees, that, down that line. Left foot depending on how far forward I want the ball. Right foot back for balance depending on how wide I want to stand. Finding the correct impact, open hips, open shoulders, right shoulder down, right forearm lower. Back to a mid-body hands, address position, and ready to go, set up, prepared as possible, ready to play.